Hi guys, how are you? Uh, welcome to another Facebook Live. Uh, I'm happy to see you here. I hope your day was uh, amazing. Uh, today I'm going to talk on uh, about ambiguity. Uh, the reason I chose this topic for uh, for my today live is that I actually experienced one uh, today um, or uh, I kind of was uh, a witness to uh, you know many people experiencing ambiguity and having problem to you know get over it so um, ambiguity is uh, something that makes many people insecure and uncomfortable and uh, you know for many people it's really hard to to handle it and it's making their lives really uncomfortable um it actually um you know starts or it it's created uh when you experience uh, this state called uh cognitive dissonance so cognitive dissonance actually means having two uh, uh infer two pieces of information about uh, one thing and these pieces of information uh, contradict themselves so it uh, really um you know means uh, uh, having the information that uh, you know this particular thing is really good and then for example someone else uh, telling you yeah it, it's it's really not that good it might be um you know like restaurant review or uh, you know it might be um, you know like two pieces of information you you have regarding uh, your friend or um, you know anything anything like that um, so you know this state creates a lot of insecurity a lot of anxiety that's because uh, you know you have to hand uh, you have to handle um, you know a certain type of unknown. You don't have reliable information because you're not sure what to believe. So it's a situation when there's no um, clear solution. There's no clear decision you can you, you can make and um you know from my experience it's even better for many people to have information that something is really bad or something bad is going to happen for sure than not knowing right take uh, some example for example when you have a boss and you know this boss is really moody and you're not sure um you know how your day is going to unfold uh because you have to wait every morning for your boss to come to the office and uh you know always trying to find out okay so what are his feelings today you know was it a good night or not um so that's often really uncomfortable and creates many negative feelings and for many people it's better to know that uh, you know like every day is going to be bad right because i can actually cope with that i know what to do there's always the same procedure for this situation when you don't know you are not prepare or you consider yourself not prepared and that's why you why you actually feel bad that's why you're anxious that's why uh, you're experiencing a certain kind of fear so uh not really good right uh the situation i experienced today was i had a training for some um, career counselors we were talking uh, about uh, personality questionnaires and how to use them and they were actually expecting some uh, very uh, clear specific uh, tips some specific answers they kind of hope that uh, personality questionnaires are um, you know the universal answer they are 
looking for. And, uh, you know, there are uh, specific uh, personality questionnaires they can use. And there's, uh, you know, they bring really good uh, information, uh, exactly the information they need. And I spent a lot of time explaining that it's not the case. And, uh, you know, there was a certain feeling of frustration in the air. And sometimes it was even quite tense because, uh, yeah, these people were frustrated or maybe even mad because they weren't getting, um, you know, clear answers. So what you can do to make yourself more comfortable in, in these situations? So first, um, and uh, you know, this might seem like really something simple and easy, but you have to realize that ambiguity and cognitive dissonance, you know, it's natural. It's part of our lives. It's how things work. You know, if you experience a lot of the situations that are really clear and straightforward, you know, they might be something about them you're not aware of. You might not have the whole picture. So it's just part of life. You can, you know, how you can battle it. And uh, actually, I've got two tips for you today. So the first one is that you can create your own track record of best practices, right? So very probably there are some situations uh, in your past that were ambiguous and you solved them. You were successful, you handled them. So, um, you know, just take some time and think about it and, um, you know, make yourself aware of these situations and try to figure out what helped you. You know, what kind of uh, tactic uh, or, um, you know, what kind of superpowers you used and, you know, in a way it worked for you. So that's the first thing, you know, what kind of creating your own personal cookbook or, you know, how to manual. And, uh, you know, the other thing, and it's connected to this uh, strategy is, um, you know, like really strengthen your confidence, make yourself aware of your uh, knowledge, of your uh, of your specific talents uh, you can use in challenging situations right kind of um, you know create a, an emergency plan uh, or some kind of emergency kit for you know this uh, type of situation uh, very often it's about getting more information so if you are good investigator you know there you go you can use this superpower to find out more to um, kind of gain better knowledge about a situation to kind of map the terrain and then perhaps um, make uh, a better decision or um, you know feel better because you know what's going on right so this is what you can what you can do uh, and uh, you can, um, you know, continuously make yourself more comfortable in ambiguous situations. You kind of, you actually can, um, you know, become more comfortable when you're experiencing cognitive dissonance because it's going to happen. It's there. It's natural, but you absolutely can handle it. Okay, so uh, I wish you uh, a lot of uh, uh, successfully handled uh, situations. I wish you an amazing day. Uh, it was nice uh, seeing you here. It was nice talking to you. Uh, if you have 
any questions, uh, don't hesitate to get in touch. I'll be happy to um, discuss anything uh, you, uh, you want or uh, answer any questions regarding this topic or something else that I might know about. Okay, see you guys. Have a great day and take care.